What's up everyone? I'm Pamela. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to talk about who else could possibly return in Scream 7. Now that we have the official news that Nev Campbell will be in Scream 7, who else could we expect to see? Just to clarify, there has been no official announcement about anyone else. This is just me speculating about who we could possibly see again. Let's get into it. <laughs> I think it goes without saying that Courtney Cox will be back as Gail Weathers. That's the announcement that I expect we're going to get next. Because I mean, Courtney Cox has been in every single Scream movie, even Scream 6 without Nev Campbell. So now that Nev Campbell's coming back, there's no doubt in my mind that Courtney's coming back as well. So I'm just waiting on that announcement. I imagine we're going to get it in the next few days. Who knows though? Another character I expect to see return is Mark Kincaid, played by Patrick Dempsey. We haven't seen him since Scream 3, but he is Sydney's husband now, which we learned in Scream 5. We never got to see him in Scream 5, but in Sydney's conversation with Dewey, she reveals that her and Mark are married and have kids together. So now that this movie is going to focus on Sydney, I would imagine her husband and father of her children will be in the movie as well. Especially if Scream 7 is going to mirror Scream 3, the way that the past two movies have mirrored the first two Screams, including Mark and Kay would just be a great way to do that. And I mean, he is a detective, so maybe he'll be working as a cop in Scream 7. Patrick Dempsey did just make his return to horror in Thanksgiving. So I just think it's perfect timing. The stars are aligning for him and Sydney to be in Scream 7. Another character that I hope to see return is Kirby Reed. Obviously, we got her in Scream 6. It would be nice to see her back again working as an FBI agent, and it would be nice to see her interact with Sydney, because obviously we didn't get to see them on screen together in Scream 6, but they did have a handful of scenes together in Scream 4. So it would definitely be interesting to see them interact now, you know, with Kirby being older, working for the FBI, and maybe Kirby could even be working with Mark Kincaid. That would be cool to see. And I actually think that's pretty likely. I mean, especially now that we no longer have Dewey working as a cop or Judy Hicks, we're missing that role. And you know, with Kirby taking a special interest in Ghostface attacks and with Mark's wife, Sydney, being the focus of these ghost race attacks, I can definitely see Kincaid and Kirby teaming up. Would you guys like to see that? Leave a comment down below. I wonder if we could see Detective Wallace again, Kincaid's partner from Scream 3. I feel like that's not super likely, and if it were to happen, I feel like Scream 7 would have to take place in Hollywood because that's where it was in Scream 3. Like sure, Sydney and Kincaid could have moved elsewhere, but what are the odds that Detective Wallace moved with them, you know? <laughs> but who knows? I wonder if Kincaid and Wallace are still partners. And if Wallace returned, that would be another fun little callback to Scream 3. I'm also wondering if we could see Martha Meeks again, the twin's mom, because she also appeared in Scream 3, and her and Sydney know each other, so maybe she'll make another little appearance in Scream 7. We didn't get to see Martha and Sydney interact in Scream 5. That would have been nice. And then if Martha does appear, that could be a way to get the twins back as well. Obviously, at this point, we have no idea if Mason Gooding and Jasmine Savoy Brown are returning. Last we heard from them, Spyglass has not reached out to them. Jasmine said this a few months ago at the Emmys, and Mason just said this very recently. So who knows with the twins? Since we know for sure that Melissa and Jenna will not be back, maybe they don't want to include any of the core four. But like I said, Martha, Meeks, and Sydney have a little bit of history. So if they wanted to include Martha, the twins could make an appearance as well. And then another character I would like to see return is Joel the cameraman from Scream 2. He's such a great character. He's so funny. And he's still alive, so we could see him again. What if Gail is producing a TV show? In Scream 6, Gail says it's all about true crime TV shows. 
So what if that's what she's working on in Scream 7? And what if Joel is her cameraman again? And what if we can see Jennifer Joel Lee again? There is a theory out there that she's still alive. I personally don't really believe that or want it to be true, but I have said before on my channel, what if Gail is working on the true crime series and they show old stab footage or cast interviews? That would be another good way to mirror Scream 3. Obviously in Scream 3, they were working on Stab 3. So what if Scream 7 to mirror Scream 3 takes us back to Hollywood on the set of Gail's new show and also shows old Stab footage and we can see Jennifer Jolie again. And last but not least, you know I have to throw Stu Mocker in there. I've always believed that he's going to return in Scream 7. Scream 5 and 6 really laid the groundwork for this. But now that Nev Campbell's returning, there's no doubt in my mind that Stu will be back. I'll be right back! <laughs> Matthew Lillard has said that he will only return if Nev also returns. So here we are, Nev Campbell officially returning. The Stu train is chugging along full steam ahead so there you have it those are seven different scream characters that i think we could possibly see return in scream 7. leave a comment down below and let me know which one you most want to see return and please don't forget to give this video a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on everything scream 7. any announcements or updates that we receive i will be posting here on this channel Thanks so much and I'll see you guys in the next video.